I closed my apartment door, my motel room door behind me, and for some reason, I had the compulsion that it, it just didn't feel the right way. There was just something about it, you know, the, uh, it just, I had this crazy delusion that there was something not right with the way I closed the door. So some, I, I thought I'd better, you know, shake the door back and forth a little bit or something. So I played with the doorknob a bit and shaked it back and forth. I thought I'd do it for a minute and I couldn't stop myself. And that was the beginning of uh, the end for my sanity. Years later, Sean Clifton would agree to participate in a film project that aimed to demystify and destigmatize forensic psychiatry. The outcome of the project and the impact on the community was uncertain, but Sean believed in the importance of talking about mental illness. Sean struggled with mental health issues from adolescence onwards. His symptoms manifested in different ways and escalated until one day he committed a very serious offense. I made a violent attack on somebody at a local shopping center. Wound up uh, in the county jail in Cornwall for about nine months. Eventually had me assessed at the Royal Ottawa. Found that the, 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 uh, the psychiatrists uh, determined I was uh, probably crazy when I committed the crime. When it came time for the trial, the, uh, the psychiatrist from the Royal Ottawa made his case and uh, they found me not criminally responsible. Not criminally responsible. That's the title of a compelling John Kastner documentary chronicling Sean's struggles. Participation in the film has proven cathartic for him. And since the release of the film, he has devoted tremendous time and energy to educating people about mental illness. Public speaking is a challenge for many. For Sean, someone who is extremely shy, publicly sharing his own painful story, despite his debilitating feelings of guilt towards his victim and her family, is monumentally difficult. His efforts are a testament to his commitment to advocating for mental health. But I, I couldn't just stay inside 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right? It was time to move on a little bit. And this was sort of a, a good opportunity to, uh, to try and uh, pull myself together. After more than 10 years of hard work, he has gone from being paralyzed by anxiety to living independently in the community holding down a part-time job, and spending considerable volunteer hours educating others about mental health. I've been approached by people at screenings and things who found my story inspirational. And if I've helped one person through the whole thing, then it's worth it.